Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to solve a problem in binomial theorem where we are told to find the middle term of the expansion y multiplied by the square root of x all divided by 3 minus 3 divided by x times the square root of y all raised power what? 16. Now, first of all, we're told to find the middle term. You know, in our previous videos, we talked about expansion. We said if you have a power of 5, you expand it up to 7, up to 6. If you have a power of 3, you expand it up to 4. So if you have a power of 16, you expand it up to 17. So let's see now. If I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, then 17, right? We say the middle term. Let's see. From 1 straight down to 8 is half is 8. And from 16 down to 10, from 17 down to 10 is another 8. So it means that 9 is the middle term in between the two 8s, right? So automatically, indirectly, we are being told to look for what? The 9th term. Are you with me now? We are looking for what? The 9th term because 9 is in the middle of the of 16 or 17. 9 is in the middle. So that means we are looking for what? The 9th term. So another way of reframing this question is by saying find the 9th term of the expansion. Are we together? Now, what you do is this. Recall, we have u subscript arrow plus 1 is equals to n combination arrow multiplied by a superscript, or we'll say a raised to the power of what? n minus arrow times b raised to the power of arrow. This is the formula you use to calculate for what? The terms to calculate for each of the terms involved in an expansion right so where arrow is the is the number of term minus one right so let's see let's move forward now from our formula here our n our arrow is what our arrow is the number of terms minus one so what is the number of term it is nine so 9 minus 1 will give us what? 8. So our arrow is equal to what? 8. Now the n is giving us what? 16. That is the power. Right? That is the power. We have having what? 16. Now a is y root x over 3. That is the first term there inside the expansion. And b is minus 3 over x root y right so this is what we have so what we have bring the parameter we have brought out now we are going to input it into the equation above the expression above right so we'll now say that u subscript 8 plus 1 now i'm putting 8 because of what my arrow is 8 so whenever i see arrow i'll put 8 and plus 1 equals to n combination r now we know our n is 16 and r is 8 so it will be 16 combination 8 multiply by a now what is a a is y root x all divided by 3 right all raised power what n minus r and what is n n is 16 minus r which is 8 right multiply by the b is giving us what r so if you put your value here the b is giving us minus 3 over x root y or raised power what? 8. Right? That is b raised power r. This is another way of writing it. Now, if I should move forward, I'll be having u to the u subscript 9 because 8 plus 1 is what? 9. So I'll say u9 is equals to. Now, the formula for combination is telling me that what? The top factorial, which is 16 factorial divided by the top minus the bottom factor which is what 16 minus 8 the bottom here is 8 right 
So the top and the bottom factorial, which is 16 minus 8, then the bottom factorial that is what 8 factorial. This is the formula for um, combination, right? So because if we have n combination arrow, we are going to be having n factorial all over n minus arrow factorial arrow factorial. So that's what I applied here. Now multiply by y times and we're writing root x is what x is power what one over two or divided by three everything is power what 16 minus 8 which is what 8 multiply by minus 3 over x times root y since i'm saying y is power 1 over 2 right or is power what 8 now from here we move forward we will now have 16 factorial all over 16 minus 8 is 8 so we have 8 factorial 8 factorial here multiply by now recall there's a formula that says that if you have a over m to the power of um the power of r to have a is power r m is power what r right so from here if i have my y uh, bring open the expand open the bracket here to be y to the power of 8 x is power 1 over 2 times 8 or divided by what 3 to the power of what 8 right now all multiply by minus 3 is power 8 so since that minus this since the power is even the minus is going to what disappear so we're having 3 is power 8 all divided by x is power 8 multiplied by y is power what 1 over 2 times 8 so the 8 is affecting everything inside there right so from here 16 factorial is ending as saying 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 9 times 8 factorial i'm stopping at 8 because of my denominator here has 8 factorial right so when i stop we're having 8 factorial all over 8 factorial 8 factorial right so from here, multiply by y8, y is power 8, multiply by x is power of what? 4. How? 1 over 2 times 8 is what? It's 4. Divided by 3 is power 8 times 3 is power 8 all over what? x is the power of 8, y is power what? 4. Now if you look at it, 8 factorial will equate 8 factorial. 3 is power 8 to equate 3 is power 8. Now we'll now be left with you multiply 16 times 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 9. You'll be having um 5 million 118 million 918,400, right? All over 40,320. Because 8 factorial is what? 40,320 that means you multiply 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 you'll be having 40,320 multiply by y to the power of 8 times y to the power of what minus 4 because when that y4 is coming up the power will have a negative sign that is one of the law of indices when you see a variable moving from the den uh, denominator to the numerator moving from uh, below the um, division sign to above the division sign the power will attract a negative sign that is why the white 4 is coming up it has negative 4 now we have the x4 multiplied by x negative 8 now the ss by 8 is coming up it attracts a negative sign it becomes what negative 8 right now if you move forward we we'll say that 518 918 400 divided by 4320 will give us 12,870. Now, your law of indices is when you have the same base, you have to add, add the power. So, we have been y is power 8 plus minus plus minus will give you what minus. Then we have minus 4 times 8 times x is power 4 minus 8. Right now. The same base that is the law of what the law of indices that says when you have a to the power of m times a to the power of n is going to give us what a to the power of what m plus n so that's what we apply there now when you do that you're now going to be having 12,870 y is power 8 minus 4 is 4 times s power 4 minus 8 is minus 4 
so if you now put them in positive term the x power minus 4 will go down we will be having 12,870 y4 all over x to the power of 4 the negative disappear because when a variable that has a negative power is coming down it will become positive right so this is the what the ninth term of the expansion right so that will call the ninth term now you might be wondering what we call the ninth term the term now if i have you know when you expand x plus y to the power of 2 right it's going to give us x square plus 2xy plus y square so what it means that the x square here is the first term the 2xy here is the second term and the y square here is third term that means if you keep on like that with this expansion the ninth term of this expansion that is y root x all over 3 minus 3 all over x root y every to the power 16 is equals to what 12,870 y4 over x4 so this is a what the ninth term of that expansion so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching